Okay, Earth Signs, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tisa, so great to have everyone here. We're here now looking to the next 24 to 48 hours or so. February the 13th and February the 14th is 2024. Now, everything you need to know about me is right down below in the description box. So thank you for your love and your support. Okay, so let's see what we have here for Earth Signs right here. Next 24 to 48 hours or so. Earth Signs. Put some right here, please, for Earth Signs. We get like a coat. So did you just buy a coat? Is it like that? Okay, Knight of Cups right here. This could be a relationship right here. Yeah, I feel like that you're making a coat look really, really good in some way. So I'm not sure what, what is that supposed to be about. <laughs> okay. Earth signs right here. Okay, Eight of Pentacles right here. Cause I'm doing like effortlessly. So I feel like something here is effortlessly. Okay, I feel like you make some coat look really, really good. I'm not sure if you're a seamstress or you're wearing it or what, okay? But, okay, all right, so the Empress right here. This could be a Taurus or Libra, maybe. You know, maybe they're significant to you in some way here. Um, yeah. This even could be you buying a coat for your child right there. See that? The babies. I'm sorry, you, you need a coat or the child needs a coat or something like that, okay? See, the Eight of Pentacles feel like something's effortlessly, like, in some way. I feel like, you know... You know, this could be a relationship. Okay, so maybe somebody's looking at you as that you can get something done effortlessly. Uh, that could be it. Okay. Maybe you even have three children. There's three babies right here. I feel like even with three babies, you're still getting something done right here. You know, kudos to you. Congratulations to you for somebody here. I feel like something is getting done. Okay, these kids have their coats or something like that. Okay, what else? Word signs right here. They have three of swords. Hmm. So I'm not sure what that's about right there. Let's see what else. Okay. Three of Swords is a heartbreak card. It's a great sadness. Okay. So let's see what else we got right here. Eight of Swords right here. Okay. Somebody wants a relationship with you. Okay. Yeah. Eight of Wands. They want to communicate with you or talk to you. Something like that. Okay. Yeah. The Knight of Wands reversed. I feel like you're hesitant right here. Because maybe you have children. Is why you're hesitant. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. The King of Swords. This is the King of Swords reverse again. This is the King of Swords in reverse again. I just did a reading for all the signs of the King of Swords in reverse yesterday. Or was it today or today or yesterday. I did it. Okay. But I'm hearing like you make something look so effortlessly. It could be some coat you're wearing or the fact that you got a coat for somebody. You just did it. I feel like you just made their day or they made your day. Whatever way could go. Okay. So it could be like that. It could be three kids. These three kids all have their coats so or something. Okay, what's the Knight of Cups right here and the Eight of Swords? What is the Knight of Cups right here and the Eight of Swords right here? Okay, the Hermit right here. Could be a Virgo right here. I see this one got eye patch on. So I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Okay, make sure you take good care of your eyes right now. Something like that. Even this one, the eyes is closed or, um, I don't know. But something about your eyes, just make sure you take good care of them. Okay, something like that. Even if you, this is what I'm getting here. You see how these two eyes is closed? They're, they're covered up. It's like you still got that third eye right there looking or something like that. Okay. It could be about a relationship for some people here or anything else it could be about, you know. They're powerless at a relationship or they're powerless at something about you not seeing because you still can see in some way, I feel, you know. What's the message right here, please? Eight of Swords right here in the Hermit. Yeah, they have bad karma trying to have you stuck here or something like that. It could be a Libra. Justice card very somebody somebody has bad karma in some way. Okay. You make some coat look good. Yes. Okay. Your children's coat looks good or you got it. Something like that. What the heck? <laughs> world card right here. Okay. So the world card, some type is complete right here. This even could be something here is legal, a legal situation. Also could be the case right here. For these two. So maybe something here is against the law in some way with the justice card reverse. And maybe somebody went to jail. Or they're powerless, or something's against karmic law in some way. Something here is against the law, man made law, or against karmic law. You know, so some cycle here is going to complete in some type of way, okay, because it's against the law, whatever law it is. Okay, I'm getting like the universal laws. It's against the universal law right there, it's a type of way, okay. 
So yeah, like I told somebody, I told somebody, I said, don't get hung up on something here. Had to be in a man-made court or law or something like that, because something here is a universal law that somebody here cannot get over or around in some way. Okay. Yeah. So this wishful thinking right here, somebody could see them or something like that. They could see something right here. You know, I feel like something here is wishful thinking right here, I feel. Somebody here is going to be defensive in some type of way. Something here is about karma, whatever this is about, okay? Justice reverse right here and a judgment. Okay, so something here is against the law. Somebody here is going to be awakened to that in some way, okay? Or somebody's going to pause the view now how something here is against the law. In some way, it is. Okay, the Eight of Wands right here and the Eight of Pentacles right here. Reverse. So these two Eights could be money. Maybe something here is about money would be the case. You know, but the Eight of Wands is communication or something here happening fast. And then the Eight of Pentacles right here is um, not putting in the group, not putting in the efforts. So that's what I kind of feel. I feel like somebody feels this type of way because sometimes you don't have to put in much effort for something or maybe that's just the way they see it. Maybe they think you don't put any effort to something and you get everything. It wants to be fast. So maybe somebody do think that for some people here. Okay. What's the Eight of Pentacles reverse right here and the Eight of Wands? Yeah, and it's another Eight over here. So it's like... I so all these eights is another eight right there. I feel like something here is money coming in here. Somebody could feel like you don't do anything for it or something like that. Yeah, ace of pentacles right here. Okay, ace of pentacles is like um a new foundation. I feel like somebody thinks you get money fast or something like that. Okay. It's the eight of pentacles reverse right here and the eight of wands. Okay, let's see what I got right here. We have right here the temperance card right here. Could be a Sagittarius right here. Okay, patience right here. This could be maybe somebody thought over here they didn't have to do anything and that you would just talk to them or they don't have to do anything and they would get everything. Something like that. They could have thought that. Okay. I feel like it's time to move on. Okay, this could be a Virgo. It's time to move on, right? Or somebody's going to move on from the Virgo or the Virgo's going to move on. You get me right here. You know? Yeah. Well, somebody could have thought they don't have to put work into you. And get everything, something like that. I feel like that's not gonna work. Somebody over here, that's not gonna work. I feel somebody will have insight about something like that, and something here is against karmic law, so it's not gonna work like that. Somebody, whatever they was thinking right here, it's not gonna work in some way. I feel like they don't understand the universal laws in some way. It's okay. So let's say for instance, we have eight, eight, eight here, right? Let me show you that again. Okay, we have eight, eight, eight here. Eight of swords right here. Eight of wands right here. These is two eights. Okay. And we have right here the Eight of Pentacles of Earth. Eight, eight, eight. They think over here, you do nothing and get everything. Something they're missing. There's no way. There's no way in universal law right here, okay? If somebody could sit right here and do nothing and get everything. There, something they're missing along the way, some type of way. Some type of way here. Because there's no way it's going to happen like that. Okay, it's something they have to do in some way. Okay, everything stems from a thought at least. Okay, so somebody will even have to think to do something to get. Okay, in order to go to the restroom, you have to get up out the bed. You have to think first that I'm gonna get up out the bed so that I could go use the restroom, right? So that's a thought that had to be done first in some way. Okay, so that's first of all, all right? And then I'm getting like, if they could think that, I feel like they think that you don't do anything and get everything, I feel some way. Maybe they don't know what you went through because something here could be law. It's a type of way. Maybe something here you went through could be the case, you know? It's many reasons why certain things happen, but yeah, I feel like them to think that you don't do anything is against, that's either against common law or that's not the truth or something like that, I feel. Yeah. Yeah, somebody really does. They really do look down on somebody's money or how to get it or something like that. Or they think they get it easy or whatever. Okay, what else is going on? Yeah, look at that. Another eight. Wow. This is like power, wealth, income. Hmm. 
Something here, though, does have to complete itself because I feel like they could go to jail. So what somebody's doing is going to complete itself in some way. All right. If somebody was thinking, oh, this is not what it's going to be. Somebody over here could be thinking right here. They could, they could not do anything and they've been getting money. That's against the law, it's a type of way. It's against karmic law. Okay. So if you think over here that you don't have to do anything and you're going to continue to get some money, that's against karmic law. So, way. something here you have to do in some way. Okay. In some way. Look up the science for getting rich. Okay. Look up Think and Grow Rich. Those are books that you can look at and read and really figure out the universal laws of how you can earn money right here without it being against karmic law. Okay. So maybe that's what this person is missing or that's what somebody is missing over here. That think that they can just do any, that don't have to do anything and just keep getting something here. It, it's against law in some way. Okay. So you need you need to look at the universal laws. Okay. Read a book and figure it out. Think and Grow Rich or the Science of Getting Rich, the laws of... Um, the universe or something like that, okay? Two of cups right here, two of pentacles. Mm -hmm. They could throw right here, they don't have to put any work into you at all, right? And still get money from you. That's not that's not universal law, okay? You obviously had to do something to get money. So they think they can just leech off of you? And just walk away. That's not how you got money. You had to put some work into something here in some way. That's how you got the money. They think right here they don't have to put any work into something right here and just walk away right here and just get everything. That's not the way it's going to work. It's not going to work like that. It's against karmic law. Get right here. <laughs> okay. So anyway, the Knight of Wands right here reverse. Right? And the Empress. The Empress right here is... um. Like grace is a way, okay. Knight of Wands reverse is hesitant or stagnating energy. Yeah, maybe somebody's married or they're stagnating to be in a marriage with you or something like that. Could be a tourist right here. Yeah, they're not invested right here. They're not invested in a marriage for some people right here. They could be hesitant to be in a marriage. They could be playing mind games right here. Could be because religion or this is a tourist or something like that, you know. <laughs> Yeah, they don't have the structure, discipline, or anything like that, right? That's gonna be unexpected to them. You know that, okay? Or that's unexpected to them right here. How that's against karmic law, in some way, something like that. Yeah, they don't have the structure, discipline, in some way. So get right here. They don't. Okay, could be a cancer right here or a tourist or whatever. Somebody's cheating and lying right here, I feel. I feel like their thoughts about the laws or money or you or whatever, it's all the way messed up. I'm getting right here. They have to look at the universal law in some way, right? Or they have to look at something here in some type of way, okay? They're going to be heartbroken right here for being the king of cups, queen, king of swords right here, Rose, okay? Really cold and heartless in some way. Okay, maybe they was trying to break your heart, or maybe they did break your heart, or something, you know. Somebody could have really want you to pay for having money, something like that. Well, let's make them pay. They have money. Let's make them pay, something like that. You work hard for your money. They think they don't have to do anything and just get everything. Ooh. What's the king of swords, the And three of swords. Yeah, they're gonna get caught. Somebody's gonna get caught right here, I feel. Whatever whatever they're doing here and whatever way it is, they're gonna get caught in some way. Okay, but I'm hearing like your baby still have the coat and the shoes or something like that. They still have it for somebody here. So make sure you thank God the universe or something like that. But Ace of Cups right here, yeah. They're cold hearted for real. They're supposed to be in a relationship with somebody right here. They're going to get caught right here because they're really jealous for real or they think you have everything. And, you know, I feel like you worked hard for something here in some way. Okay. Yeah, the high priest is right here. Yeah. In secret, they're jealous. I'm getting right here. So I'm getting right here. In secret, somebody's jealous, I feel right here. You know, that's the truth right here with the Ace of Swords sticking up, okay? They're jealous, I feel, right here, because, you know, that's <sighs> what so I'm getting right here. Now, now they're heartbroken right here because you're intuitive. <laughs> and you know they're playing mind games, and you know they're jealous for real, or you know they, they got caught in some type of way, right? Who they really is or something like that. Yeah, they regret now and heartbroken. They're really depressed. I'm getting here now. Okay. 
You know, they could be depressed right here because they was really trying to have you be depressed. Something here could have ricocheted or went back to them. Somebody could have returned it to the to the um, sender or to the universe, something like that. Okay, they could be depressed right here. Something they was doing to somebody right here and how you're intuitive and you know all about what they was doing for some people here. Or how something here is going to be returned right back to them in some type of way. Okay, and whatever traps and snares they have for you is the one they're going to be in right here in some way. Right? It's funny how the universe will turn things around on somebody here in some way. Right? Or something could end with you completely then since they want to be in the king of swords or reverse. Cold hearted for real or something like that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> They're going to be stuck. How are they going to have a relationship with you and they're jealous of you for real? You know that or something like that. Or something they was trying to do right here to really have you be heartbroken. Ooh, we, you broke somebody's heart. You're going to get caught. You're right here. You're going to get caught right here, okay, for breaking somebody's heart like that. For being cold for what? Because you're jealous? Unbelievable, okay? Ridiculous. For real, it's really ridiculous and sad. Yeah, because they didn't get some money or they're not going to get any more money now since they want to be a thief or whatever, something like that. You know, I feel like that you're going to be, um, you know, recognized or something like that. They even could have had hope right here. They would get recognized by you again after they was a thief or whatever else they was doing. King of Swords were very cold hearted. Okay. That's what I have here. Thank you so much. Okay. I send you all peace, blessings, love, and light. Namaste to you.